Hello, good evening. This is Shanawaz Ahmed, and today I'm here with a new video on SolidWorks. And uh, today I'm going to explain you the move components. And in that we are having three options basically: standard drag, collision detection, and physical dynamics. So there is a confusion between collision detection and physical dynamics, and many of you are not able to do it, and many of you are having confusion. So today we will discuss all the three things. so for doing move components or physical dynamics or collision detection any sort of thing what we have to do we have to first create an assembly which can move so for that purpose what i am do, uh, doing i am just going directly to the top down approach in this approach what we do we directly move on to the assembly and in assembly what we do we create and uh, in assembly workbench only we create the parts so this tutorial will help you out to make uh, the top down assembly also and you will also be able to do the move components which we are having with three things the standard drag collision detection and the physical dynamics okay so for this what i am doing i am just uh, going to create a part i am going to insert components and creating a part here and uh, i am just choosing my plane here okay now here what i'll do i'll just simply create a rectangular block as you can see and the length and the width of the rectangular block can be of your choice so i am taking here to be 380 and uh, i'll keep this as 200 because i only need this much and i don't need anything other than this okay now friends after creating this what i'll do i'll just straight away convert this into a 3d model so for that what i'll do i'll just go to the extrude and pull it out to some distance for example let us say it is 20 now it is okay what i'll do i'll just simply add some material in this so that it is easily visible and uh, what i'll do i'll just go here go to the edit material mode and go and give for example wood okay now you can see the wood is being added here now what i'll do because this part is already ready this was my first part so i'll just come out of it i will exit it now to create another part in top down assembly what i'll do i'll just again go to the insert components but i will go to the downward arrow and then i'll go to the new part because i'm creating a new part over there click on this now you have to choose a reference i'm choosing a reference like this so because this is an inactive part that's why it is inactive now you can see it has become transparent now again what i'll do i'll just go like this here and uh, take a rectangle once again and i'll just make a rectangle block like this again what i'll do i'll just extrude it so for extruding it what i'll do i'll simply go and click on the sketch and you can see it will be extruded like this okay now i'll just like to also add material to this part also what i'll do i'll just simply go here go to the material option take the material and for example let us say i'm giving it to be steel okay now it has been added let us exit it out from here now the thing is when you are creating any component or you when you are creating components in the top down assembly approach then you will see that the mates are in place mates so you have to remove these in place mates and again you have to put the mates so for removing the in place mates what i will do i'll just simply go and select the two mates here and delete them okay now after deleting we are not having any sort of mates and they are free in nature as you can see this is also free and this is also free but our components are ready now for example i just want to make it fixed because in the bottom up approach what we do we just create the components in the part workbench and then we bring one by one and then assemble them so here also we will do the same thing we will simply go and make it as fixed so for making this fixed this is this part so i am just going here like this right clicking it and making it fixed so now what i am having i am having a mate which is fixed here now another thing is that i will just uh, give them a relation so for uh, giving them the relation what i'll do i'll just simply go here select this thing select this one and i'll give the mate and i'll give the coincident mate it's automatically done okay now what i'll do i'll just multiply the parts so you very well know कि इफ यू वॉन्ट टू मल्टीप्लाई द पार्ट वॉट यू डू यू जस्ट गो कंट्रोल एंड क्लिक एंड ड्रैक द पार्ट एंड इट विल बी मल्टीप्लाइड लाइक दिस सी इट इज मल्टीप्लाइड हेयर अगेन आई विल ब्रिंग इट हेयर लाइक दिस नाउ अगेन आई वॉन्ट टू मेक इट अगेन आई विल मल्टीप्लाई दिस इट इज हेयर अगेन आई विल ब्रिंग बैक टू दिस साइड 
and you can see that uh, these are not related to this so what i'll do i'll just simply go here and select this one many a times what happens is that the mates are automatically coming here but sometimes what happens it is not obeying the laws for example it is not obeying the laws over here so what i'll do i'll just again go and uh, drag it by pressing the controls like this see now it is coming so that means when you're dragging you have to look for the options very clearly so now what i'll do i'll just simply remove these parts because these are not needed and if we are just using these parts then we have to make them coincident and also it will take much time so what i'm doing i'm just removing them so this i did so that you can understand that uh, if we are dragging it properly then only it will come and uh, the mates will be automatically uh, coming otherwise the mates will automatically they will not come now again what i'll do i'll just uh, multiply this part again you can see this part is been again multiplied we are having three components in total now again what i'll do i'll just simply go here again i'm just uh, multiplying the part the same part again so like this you can create four to five copies but you have to check that it is going see if it is not like this or if it is not coincident then it will not work so now you can see that we are having now many parts we should take one more part so that we are having some crowded space here okay now we are having five to six parts here now the thing is you can now use the move component tool for using the move component tool what we will do i'll just simply go to the move component now the first thing is the standard drag so what happens in the standard drag see you have to select one component and drag it so what it will do it will simply go and drag like this if it is passing on to this one also then also it will pass why because it is simply the standard drag so nothing will happen okay now this is the simply drag now we are moving on to the collision detection in collision detection when the components are colliding with each other they will tell us that they are colliding for example we have put here a stop at collision so that when it will collide it will stop and it will also create a small sound you can see when i'm moving this and if it is colliding here you can see the sound is also coming and it is a stopping why because we have done two stop at collision like this see so this is a very important you can say tool which is used to see the collision detection of the components and it helps us a lot in finding out the collision if i am removing removing this stop at collision then what will happen it will just go it will make the sound but it will go further like this because we are not stopping it so like this we can just see the collision this is the collision detection now the third thing which is known as the physical dynamics in this the reality occurs for example if i am just using this now i am just dragging this so in real now if it is is touching this one then what will happen it will move that also so it will in the reality do the same thing you can see so this is most important and very you can say a perfect tool which is given in solidworks which is able to uh, do the physical dynamics of the components so you can see it is here if i am just moving it on towards like here then also it will not fall but it will remain in the constrained position why because it is constrained with this plane so we can just make it fall by using solidworks motion for that you can visit uh, uh, the video of the solidworks motion which i have created in that you will be able to understand that how to put the gravity and all so friends in this way you can use these three things the physical dynamics is a very important tool and physical dynamics can be used with the very heavy assemblies also for example we are using using keir mates or we are using the universal mates in that also we can use the physical dynamics so that we can see that how the components are moving now guys thank you very much for watching this video if you are having any doubt in solidworks or in catia or any 3d modeling software you can write mail to me or you can just uh, write it in the comment section so that i can prepare a video for you and if you like this video friends just please subscribe my channel so that i can update you with you and uh, i can update you with some new videos and some new concepts thank you guys thank you very much for watching this